Hi, I'm Zoe Maven. Welcome to another episode on the Zoe Maven episodes here on this channel. It's all about tips, tricks, life hacks, tutorials, and sometimes interesting stories, inspiring stories, if you like. But today it's a tutorial and we are going to be looking at how to use a teleprompter or an auto cue as it is also known, how to use it professionally in such a way that people will hardly be able to tell that you're using one. Are you ready for that? And let's get straight into it. So today's tutorial will teach you how to use a teleprompter for that really smooth and flawless delivery of your video scripts, whether it's a public speech or a marketing presentation, or maybe even a YouTube tutorial. Now there are thousands of videos on YouTube that will teach you how to use the teleprompter. I mean, you probably even already are using one and you know how it works. But can you deliver your script or that presentation to be livelier, more engaging, and most importantly, believable, all the while using the teleprompter? Now that needs some skill. So if you are currently using a teleprompter, you will agree that it does make presentation a lot easier. I mean, for starters, you don't have to memorize your script. Mistakes are definitely minimized. There are less bloopers like um, 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 you know, and all that stuff. Also, you save so much time and effort just because there is less to correct and edit in post. You can time your presentation, look more professional, and all the while maintain better eye contact with the camera. But it does take skill to be able to use a teleprompter in such a way that it is hard to tell you're using one. Otherwise, the presentation will come across as dull, lifeless, and very amateur. So here are five tips to help you with this and to get you using the teleprompter for your next presentation like a pro. Number one, bring your personality. Now, where is that lively, bubbly, animated and excited person when you're off the camera, when you're most relaxed and with the people that you care about and are comfortable with? Now, that's the person I want to see. Never switch off your personality or leave it behind just because you're using a teleprompter or you're recording in front of the camera. In fact, you're actually going to have to make the extra effort because of it. And if you feel that your personality isn't as bubbly or as lively as possible, one thing you can do is to get into character. In other words, pretend to be someone else. And I know it doesn't sound very authentic, but please hear me out. It is an accepted technique that will let you come across bold, lively, and most importantly, engaging. I want to see that glint in your eyes as you're talking to the camera about the things that you're passionate about, the things that you care about. And if that can only happen when you're in another character, then I'm all for it. So bring your personality to the prompter. Number two, employ body language. Now, simply put, body language is the unspoken element of communication that we use to reveal our true feelings and emotions. I mean, what you say with your body in your presentation has to be louder than what you are reading off that teleprompter. So very important. Now, I'm sure you already know, or maybe you've heard about Albert Merabian's 73855 rule of personal communication. Yeah, he combined the statistical results of two studies to show that communication is only 7% verbal and 93% nonverbal. The nonverbal component was made up or is made up of body language, 55%, and tone of voice, 38%. Think about that. Action, they say, does speak louder than the voice. So let your body speak more than your voice. This means that you have got to maximize those facial expressions, your body posture, gestures, eye movement, and the use of space. All of that is so important. You can get a mirror to work on your body language, uh, body language skills. So let no teleprompter stop you. Three, the camera is your best friend. Now behind the teleprompter, of course, is the camera, right? So ensure that you're making eye contact with the lens in the most natural way. 
Now, one thing to help you achieve this is to consider the camera your very best friend. Now, that means that each time you come in front of the camera to record, you are talking to someone that you know, yeah? So pretend the camera at that time is maybe your husband or your boyfriend, your sister, your brother, any significant other, and then talk to the camera as if you were talking to that person. It does help. Number four, train your eyes. Now your audience is not going to see the teleprompter. What they see is you, your eyes, your body language, that's what they see. So you have to train your eyes to look natural. Position the prompter in a way to be able to read the words well. Don't make the words too small so that you have to start squinting to be able to read them. And all that can be adjusted on the uh, prompter app settings. So try as much as possible to keep the text centralized so your eyes are barely moving from side to side, thereby making it obvious that you are using a teleprompter. It also pays to be some sizable distance away from the camera. That also helps. And lastly, practice, practice, practice. Now you are going to have to practice using the teleprompter frequently so that you get used to using one and so you're able to train all the members of your body involved in that process to look right. It helps when you familiarize yourself with the script before your presentation. That sort of lets you know, sometimes know what to say even if you are uh, momentarily are looking away from the prompter and this will also help make you look more natural and definitely more professional in your presentation or your, in your delivery now i know some people do not use or do not like to use a teleprompter and they can articulate their thoughts perfectly well just using talking points for the topic or like bullet points that they are talking about and that's fine but don't feel that you have to if you rather have all of your thoughts better organized on a script using the teleprompter now if you'd like to learn how to write and use a script with only bullet points or talking points for your presentation i'm going to be making a video on that soon Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Drop me a comment in the section below about your preferred use or your preferred method of presentation or for shooting your YouTube videos or for your presentations. Let me know all of that in the section below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Do give it a like if you found it useful and helpful and take one extra step and share this video to someone you think might be able to use it. So I will see you in the next video and that will be happening pretty, pretty soon. Till then, life is beautiful when you know how to live it. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.